Hi, Monica Nina Hubbard's here of Whole Heart Energy Healing. In this series, we are taking on a challenge to recognize how fears in our thoughts, ideas, attitudes, and beliefs negatively affect or control how we think, act, and feel. We're using the message of fear to course correct and continue. Today's episode is day 10. We're in a new year and dealing directly with the F word, the four letter word, fear. We're tossing fear out on its rear, giving you freedom and putting you into a fun and fabulous new year. Yesterday we talked about the feelings the and feeling the fear and facing it. We learned that fear is no more than a messenger that alerts you. It's connected within. Whether we feel it in our gut, have an intuitive hit, or have learned a lesson the hard way, we now know that fear is not our enemy. Actually, it's an ally. But if we listen to the alarm and can get out safely and move on with the rest of our lives, things will go a lot better for us. In this series, we're taking on a challenge to recognize how fears in our thoughts, ideas, attitudes, and beliefs negatively control how we think, act, and feel. We're now dedicated to using fear as merely the messaging system. We don't shoot the messenger. We simply use the message to course correct and continue. Today's episode is, Where are the winds of change? Have you ever been overwhelmed by fear? Fearing that things will never change? Any part of your life may have been affected. Relationships, money, pain, mental anguish, an arduous task, anything. Just the thought of it relentlessly holding on is enough to make our head spin or even attempt suicide. We can get overwhelmed by fear if we don't use it as it is intended, as an ally, warning us that we need to change something and therefore is indeed on the horizon. Hooray! Back when I was having financial problems, it seemed like things would never change. Where were my winds of change? When's this going to end? Will it ever end? Ugh. Well, I know enough to stop stinking thinking, regroup, reconnect, and re-engage in a supportive frame of mind rather than one that sucks the life out of me. I go from thinking it's never going to change to considering that it can and then have a little internal argument with myself. Yes, it can change. No, it won't. Yes, it can. No, it won't. No, it can't. Ah! By the time I've had a few go-rounds this way, whew, I'm usually feeling a bit sheepish, as I've caught myself in a familiar trap, which ends way, sorry, which happens way less often. <laughs> yep, even I can still get caught up in the trauma drama and lucky me to have access to several energy systems to get back up on top. I'm a human and subject to human foibles. You're a human and are subject to the same weaknesses and shortcomings. Darn it. Identifying with fear and overwhelm that nothing is going to change just puts you back in the category of being a victim to circumstances and negative thinking. It brings you down. It keeps you limited to experiencing the same old, same old. Even when the outside wrapper is changed and a new one is placed over top, <laughs> the contents are still the same. So, I align with a different possibility. I employ the use of the whole heart energy healing technique. 
I change the channel, so to speak, and tune into the goal that I want to attain. And I take myself through the process and voila, I'm in a better headspace. My body is now comfortable in its new energy. The whole of me is comfortable in this new energy and things start to happen to make my goal a reality. One conversation with yourself can literally change your current experience and indeed your life. Looking at and identifying with your fears and beliefs that feel like they are the truth can keep you derailed. Looking at where you want to be aligned and go in that direction can clear the clutter and move you outside your sphere of fear and turn into the realm of probable positive outcomes. When you choose to identify with the part of you that's actually afraid to have your goal realized, then you choose to be on a hamster wheel that keeps you in place, spinning your wheels, not getting what you want. The carrot on the stick entices you towards something that you're not able to achieve. It's a teaser, not a pleaser. There's a lot of sexy attraction in a tease, but there's not any fulfillment until you can connect with it. There are wondrous techniques that give you tiny results, which may seem to be the biggest accomplishment at the time. And then, as time marches on, your life is indeed a bit better off, but you're not really that much further along. Where do you want to be in a week, a month, a year? Just a little further along or a lot further along? Think about it. I have an ebook to aid you in your journey. It's a good piece to help you for now. I have courses in the making that will be of great benefit to you as they will make achieving your goals faster, easier, and more efficient, which will lead you to a more balanced and a happier life. I hope that you're supported during this quest and can find someone to go along with you on this journey. Let's do this together. Together is better. Book your free getting to know you call with me and you'll see how you can release the fear and move forward into a new way of being. Monica Huppert here of Whole Heart Energy Healing. This has been day nine of your stairway to sovereignty, foregoing fears for freedom. So you can get a new year, a new decade, and a new you off to an abundant new start. Cheers to your success. Check out the links below for the getting to know you and to get the ebook. Bye for now. Bye bye.